welcome back to my channel. Minasan konnichiwa. Yerwanyaseyo. Susan Bess. Today I wanted to come on camera and I wanted to talk to you about a language learning app that I've been using for a while. And I think since some of you are studying other languages, um, including Japanese and Korean, that this might be useful to you. So if you want to see what I have to say, please keep watching. So first, let's just address the change in this video. Yes. I have changed my hair. Um, I went and I decided to cut my own hair and I decided to wear it out and I thought why not? It's just hair. It'll grow back. It's the fall. I don't know. I wanted something darker. Let me know if you like it. It's kind of takes some getting used to so let me know if you like it or not. Okay? Alright, so back to the main purpose of this video. So the background for you guys who may be new to my channel or if this is your first video watching, thanks for watching. Um, I have about four to five years of Japanese learning experience under my belt. I majored in international relations when I was a university student and Japanese studies. So I have had classroom instruction on learning Japanese. And since graduating, everything has been self-taught and or learned at my workplace or things that I've learned from having uh, Japanese around me and having been to Japan. So all this is to say basically that I do have some experience with Japanese. But the app I want to talk about is great for those who maybe don't even have any experience or who are like professionals or who are pros in a language and still, you know, you need some help because, you know, everybody needs help when they're learning languages. We're not all native speakers, you know what I'm saying? So basically, <laughs> I want to talk to you about an app called HelloTalk. So I don't get any of the information wrong, I'm just going to read it to you directly off of the App Store. I'm using an iPhone and so I'm getting all my information from iTunes. Not iTunes, the App Store, sorry. So HelloTalk is the first language exchange social networking app in the world. Its description says that Finally, learning and practicing a new language is easier and more intuitive than ever. Choose to learn from over 100 languages. Native speakers from around the world are your teachers. Hello Talks intuitive tools provide an experience that's never made it easier to learn and practice a new language. You can pick the language you want. There are uh, over 100 from which to select and almost instantaneously you'll be in touch with native speakers of that language. Some of the languages that are supported are English, Chinese Simplified, Chinese Traditional, Cantonese, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, French, Portuguese, German, Italian, Russian, and Arabic. Um, those are some of the basic ones. But then, of course, there are a lot of other languages on here. Estonian, Finnish, Czech, Dutch, English, Bosnian, Bulgarian, Norwegian, Persian, Polish, Urdu, Vietnamese, Ukrainian, Turkish, Yiddish, Urba, Zulu. There's so many languages on this app so I'm pretty sure there's a language for everybody with this app. So with HelloTalk you're able to choose the language that you consider yourself fluent to native in and then you're able to choose the language that you're trying to study at the moment. My account I chose to currently study Korean since I have many Japanese speakers around me and I feel I'm a little bit more advanced in Japanese I would like to be a little bit more advanced in Korean as well. So I chose my native proficiency as English and I chose the language that I'm, with, that I'm trying to learn at the moment, Korean. Automatically what happens is that the app pulls up native speakers of that language from all over the world who are trying to learn the language that you claim you're native in and who can speak the language that you're trying to learn. It's a really, really, really cool app. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on the Android market as well, so you should check it out. And then what this basically is, it's like a pen pal program. You choose to message the person you want to message based off of that list or somebody will message you um, based off of you showing up in their list and they'll ask you to help them practice or you'll ask them to help them pra help yourself practice and then you guys can choose to become language partners. The person is now in your partners list and you can choose to communicate with them whenever and they can choose to communicate with you. There are also really cool features such as you can have text to voice, you can have voice to text, you can switch it into characters for those of you who are studying um, language languages that have a different set of uh, alphabet or different set of characters uh, like Arabic or Chinese. It'll switch it from um, 
Roman, Romanized, Romanized letters to the characters of the language that you're studying. If you choose to and you and your partner become close enough, you can even choose to establish calling amongst yourselves so you can hear their voice and they can hear your voice and you can learn the intonation and the inflictions and how to speak in that language better. They can also learn how to speak in the language that you're good at better. It's like a win-win situation. So this is totally amazing. They do not recommend giving out personal information such as like Skype or your email or your phone number or address or any of those things. Um, this is strictly for learning purposes and they really discourage that. So that's really cool in that sense that if the app feels that somebody is uh, asking you a personal question, they automatically pop in the chat and they, you know, they advise you, please don't give out your information unless you truly feel comfortable. So I thought that was really nice of them. You know what I'm saying? Like they want to make sure that you're strictly there for learning purposes. There's also a cool doodle feature where, like I said, if you're learning a language that has characters, you can uh, draw the character out and then it'll send the character over to that person and the person can help you figure it out. Then there's the introduce feature where it basically shows you how to introduce yourself in that language and then you can practice speaking the introduction as well as writing the introduction. There's so many cool features on this app and I think it's great for language learners all over the world. So that's why I wanted to come on here and share it with you today. Now this app is free in the app store. However, if you're someone like me and you're learning multiple languages or you want to instruct in multiple languages. When you're learning one language and teaching one language, you can get the app for free. However, if you would like to increase to two or three or more languages, you will have to pay for the app. Um, but as of now, it is free in the App Store. I'm not sure about Android since I don't have an Android phone. I just wanted to come in real quick and share this app with you because I know how difficult it is to study a language and whenever I find something that really works for me, I wanna share it with you guys. Whatever makes studying a little bit easier and a little bit more fun, I think that's amazing. I'll go ahead and put my username down below in case you wanna message me on HelloTalk and hopefully we can be chatting soon. Don't forget that no matter what language you're studying, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna take a lot of time and effort, but if you want it bad enough, you can definitely do it and nothing is impossible. There's somebody out there who's also trying to study just like you, so why not study together? So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye, annyeong, -bye.